I what can't get it? you any closer to the microphone. I could get closer to the microphone. You but could. the microphone... Just put it in your mouth. ...would be <laughs> in my sinuses. What are you looking up? I am looking up websites to get... Kotaku! That's the best one. And, for, and interesting things to talk about today. We are, we are recording. And we're recording. <laughs> so I'd like to welcome you to the uh, Under the Weather podcast. The Under the we- We're changing the name again? No, that's just the name <laughs> of the episode. Is the okay. name of the episode today is the Under the Weather podcast. Because one, I'm under the weather. Two, you are under the weather. And three... It's raining outside. It's raining outside. <laughs> oh, there's the thunder. Yep. So if you hear it, get over it. Yeah. I... I I'd there's, be surprised when There's it. that uh, Blizzard Fixes Culturally Insensitive sign that we talked about last week. That dumb shit. <laughs> what sign was that again? Uh, it says take out. Oh. But in Australia, they say take away. Yeah. So they issued cool. an official apology. <laughs> Go back and listen to that episode if you want to know all about that. Because, holy crap, that was retarded. So... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Future Villains Podcast. Welcome. We're going to be talking about Recore, Rick and Morty, and... Blah, 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 dub, dub. Catchphrase, bitch. And uh, whatever else we find on Kotaku. Which um, is not a lot. No, I'm it's saying. not. Um, well, that that's one thing. What the thing? Division is finally getting a big patch. I know you don't know a lot about or anything about The Division. Um, I but, know I hate... Division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Jesus Christ, Bob, I hope you're listening. That's the joke Bob <laughs> makes every single time. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just the, the low-hanging fruit of that joke. Yeah. Yeah, they're adding um like a, a big chunk of the map and horde mode and a bunch of other cool shit for free, so I'm excited about that. I hate DLC. When did this You start? don't play games! This is one reason I don't. Yeah, it's bad. It's a small reason I don't. <laughs> but it's one reason I don't. I see it, and I'm like, I... The last well, video game that I played was uh-huh. Injustice, right? Okay. I yeah. got Injustice. They, someone got it for me for my birthday, and it just came out. I had the t-shirt. I was excited. And I played it. it you still great. have the t-shirt? Uh, yeah, it doesn't fit anymore. Oh, shit. But I still have it. It will soon. Uh, well, I don't know. It was, it was pretty small to begin with. Um, and I got it. And then, you know, like two months later, it's like, oh, got three bucks. Here's mm-hmm. this. Three bucks? Well, to start like with. Five bucks? Eight bucks per character? I don't know what it was. It's crazy. It pissed me off, whatever it was. And then finally they came out with, like, the gold version or whatever they called it. Right. It had everything. It's like, well, if I wanted the game that had everything, why didn't I just buy it then? Why didn't you... That's like when we started playing Destiny. Uh, I bought whatever that Game of the Year edition was, and I was like, cool, this will get me everything. Right. It was like 30 bucks as opposed to the 60 and then like sixty another 60 for the season pass, which gets you all the DLC. And, and then it turns out, oh, no, it didn't get me everything. I still had to pay $30 for Rise of Iron. Ah. Uh. So yeah, DLC's uh, pretty shitty. I don't care yeah. for it. Now, expansions I was always kind of cool with, because you got... Like, a big thing. Yeah, you got like an extra, you know, almost a whole extra game right. without getting, you know, title of the game part two. Right. But, yeah. DLC is one, re- one thing that keeps me away from playing games. So this will be interesting to get your perspective on this then. How do you feel about games releasing DLC and the games themselves are in early access and have not come out yet? (laughs) I don't know how to answer this question. (laughs) Did your brain break? (laughs) It did. The game's not done, so we're going to release extra content that you have to pay for, even though we're not done with the game that you already paid for. (laughs) What? Yep. Happens all the time. See, when I buy a board game... It, it's everything's in there. Yep. Or when I play D and D, everything's in my head. So that's oh, you say bullshit. D and D has more DLC than anything. I would consider those expansions because a book uh, maybe. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, uh, you know what? They kind of are like DLC because it's D&D, not. It's D and D's fault that we have DLC. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not all necessarily expansions. And board games have DLC, too. <laughs> it's full of expansions. Yeah. Look, but... Dude, look at fucking um, uh, House on Haunted Hill. Not, no. That's not what it's... Is it? House... Uh, Betrayal on the House... Betrayal on the House on the Hill. Uh, okay. House on Haunted Hill. Whatever. That game has so much fucking expansions and tiny decks and... Oh, does it? Oh, I thought it only had a couple. Yeah, Yeah, I'm thinking... No, am I thinking of Mansions of Madness? I know Mansions of Madness had... Oh, I think that one has the decks that you're talking about? Yes, Mansions of Madness is the one that has, like, the small decks, the bigger expansions, the big expansions, the, the, the fucking minis, everything. All the DLCs. As if the game wasn't expensive enough. Yeah, exactly. But I got it cheap. Yeah, we got lucky. Yeah. We need to play that. We need to play that for Halloween. That should be Halloween content. I talked about this. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I talked about video game stuff. I didn't no. think about board games. No, I told you this in the car the other day. You said Halloween content. I instantly went video games. Well, I went... That's well, the only I place my House brain on the went. Hill, and you... then I didn't listen. No, because you said you didn't want to do that because we didn't have the camera yet. And we do have the camera now. Well, we will. Well, Sunday. Yeah. This is just a bullshit podcast. <laughs> uh, welcome to our life. Yeah. So, yeah, we did. We got a camera. It'll be here soon, so we'll have some video content very soon. Uh, keep scrolling. We're, I'm tired of looking <clears throat> at everybody's golf. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It actually, it's supposed to be really good. It's it's a mini golf game. Oh, okay. Um, you know that's a thing. Shadow of War producer memorialized and D- that's cool. Okay, more DLC. Yeah. Do you have to pay for that one? So yeah, there. That's a game that I don't know if I'm gonna buy it now. Shadow of War. Yeah. Um. So you can actually pay the DLC, pay DLC. Uh huh. Um. To get units and upgrade shit and pay real money to make the game easier. Which, to me, makes it sound like, so am I going to have to pay for shit eventually? Like a free-to-play game? Like, it's a free one of the free-to-plays on top of... The $60 game. Yeah. So, yeah, they pretty much lost a, uh, a customer there when they did that. Yeah, that's not cool. No. Do you actually get to play as him? That looks badass. Um. Huh. Comrade. Yeah, oh, Comrade. Okay. Okay. You probably have to pay $20 for him. I hope not. Especially if someone's being memorialized. Yeah. All um, right. So, yeah. actually, this is a good segue for DLC. Um. I'd write a segue. I've been playing ReCore lately, which is, uh, if you keep scrolling, you'll find it eventually. So, ReCore is a game I bought a while back. Um, it is basically if Metroid Prime, Mega Man, and Legend of Zelda had a baby. Oh, uh, okay, that one. God, this game is so damn cool. It is an action-adventure, third-person shooter, and you have a little robo-companion. You have, like, an automatic rifle, and you lock on to enemies and shoot them. You also have a charge up ability like Mega Man. Mm-hmm. Um, you can double jump and dash, and then you unlock new Robo companions. Last night I just unlocked uh, Duncan, who is a big Robo ape. Nice. I also have Seth, who's a little spider bot. Does uh Dun- does Duncan check in? Yeah, technically <laughs> <laughs> checks all kinds of things. And then the one you get initially is Mac, and he's a little robot dog. Now, in this world, there are the main story missions, and then there are also smaller dungeons. I did one that was purely platforming. Um, you know, one thing I like about the game, because I don't like platformers, mm-hmm. even though last week I talked about 20XX, which is also a platformer. <laughs> um, but this platformer, when you're jumping... And when I did the when I did this dungeon that like I said was purely platforming, the platforms are tiny. They're pretty much as big as your main character. Okay. Which can be frustrating. But luckily when you're jumping and you're up in the air, you actually have an aiming reticle on the ground. So you know exactly where you're gonna land. Okay. And 
the double jump and the dash are actually like super precise. Like you can tap the dash, you can hold the dash, you can. It's amazing. Like it's just so good, and it's kind of got a platforming for dummies thing, because like if you get close to a platform, it's not like other games where you'll just die. She'll actually grab onto the ledge and pull herself up. Oh, nice. I've always liked that in games. Yeah. There's a couple other games like that. I can't think of them, but... So the first little dungeon I did was a whole bunch of those tiny platforms. And then it was also, like, uh... I, I think it was this dungeon, or maybe it was another one. It had a, um... Uh, Phantom Menace moment. Mm -hmm. Where it was, like, three energy... Oh, Things nice. that turned on and off, and I was just like... My fucking Darth Maul's on the other side of this thing. <laughs> and I don't want to go, because I know how this goes. Right. Um, but there's, there's just a lot of, like, energy gates where you got to, like, jump at the right time. Um, there are these little floating uh, gates that, like, you double jump and dash through it, and it allows you to double jump and dash again. Um, right. And then there's, uh, man, the thing that messed me up are, like, the moving platforms that you have to, like, jump as the one that you're on is moving away, so the one moving toward... that That's the one that messes me up the most. <laughs> and then at the end of the little dungeons, there is the main treasure, and then there are three other doors, because there are three uh, secondary objectives. Mm -hmm. And if you complete any of those, those doors also open. Open all three, there's a big chest in the middle. Oh, nice. So there's a whole bunch of those dungeons. Um, there are collectible stuff all over the place. There are chests you can open up to find new parts for your little robos. Um, just upgradable parts. Enemies all over the place. Um, you gotta have these prismatic cores, which are pretty much the keys of the game. Like dungeons, you'll need like 12 prismatic cores to open it up. Mm -hmm. So you can find those all over the place by killing enemies, killing bosses... Uh, Mac has, like, an ability that he'll dig up stuff. Sometimes you'll find it that way. Hmm. Uh, and there's stuff in the game, that, like... I love games like, like this, because, like, this reminds me a lot of Metroid Prime, where you're stuck at points and you're like, what do I do here? I see things. I know how... I can see how to get to things. But I have no way of doing that. And then later, when you get Seth, the spider... Uh, funny little side note about him. He's great at climbing, terrified of heights. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty um, funny. What he does when you have him out is you'll see a thing that says attach. You hold X and he, you latch onto him and he jumps up and just like, he crawls across this, uh, like platform or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And usually you get to the end of it and he launches you and you have to like double jump, dash, get to the next one. He grabs onto it. You go, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, jeez. Fantastic. So, like I said, when I, I bought this when Destiny came out, or right before we started playing Destiny, not when Destiny came out, right before me and, and Bob started playing Destiny. And so it kind of got lost in the wayside because we went hardcore on that game. Yeah. Um, that whole playthrough is up on my YouTube channel, by the way, Best in the Realm. Um, so that game got lost to the wayside uh, recently. Did you already pass it? What is it? The, the ReCore thing? I did not see it. Okay, maybe not. Um, recently, they said they were going to bring out the uh, ReCore Definitive Edition. And pretty much everyone was like, okay, well that game did alright, so why is there a definitive edition coming out, and do I have to pay for it? <laughs> and um, so, the definitive edition came out <clears throat> yesterday or the day before, I believe, and um, we got a, 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 you know, everyone who owned it got an update, a six, almost seven gigabyte update, that made it oh, a definitive wow. edition. So okay. I was like, Cool. And it gave you uh, a better looking game because uh, it's, it's 4K now. And it also added just a bunch of stuff. And it added a bunch of in game stuff, I believe. A bunch of new dungeons. A new little robot named T8NK. And he's a tank. He's a rideable tank. Uh -huh. Which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. 
You can also use a tank to ram enemies or have it drive alongside you. You can cast a shield. Did you ever play Taiji Tank on the original PlayStation? No. That game was amazing. Huh. And apparently this character, people, uh, they must have like really searched like the files of the game. They found this little tank character and saw that he was cut from the game. So it's cool they're adding to it. But they also added uh, a warp point for a much larger zone called Starving Sea that's full of loot enemies and several new missions. So yeah, they added a bunch of just new DLC and new robot. The game's fantastic. I'm so glad I started playing it again. Like, I, I started playing it last night to be like, okay, do I want to play this because I kind of liked it before? And do I want to make a video of it? Mm -hmm. And then I was like four hours in. And I was like, <laughs> okay, obviously I do enjoy it. I'm not going to make a video because I'm too far in now. Right. But da yeah, I love that game. That's gonna It's going to be one for me. It's not going to be one for the channel. So if you haven't played ReCore, if you enjoy Metroid Prime, Mega Man, or Legend of Zelda, pick it up. It's great. It's like 40 bucks. Um, I'm like seven hours in. And I'm probably like halfway through the story mission, and I've only done one side dungeon. Huh. So, okay. quite a bit of content for 40 <clears throat> bucks. I'd say it's worth 40 bucks. I paid 20, I think, for it, 20 or 30. That's not too bad, then. As long as you're getting enough for what you're paying for. Yeah, I feel like, like I said, I played a lot last night. Because I kept getting to points in the game where it was like, alright, I'm done. Like, after the story mission, I'm done. And then right. something would happen to pull me back in. It's just like with Titanfall 2. Mm -hmm. Game, the, the, these games are great at doing that. It's like, ah, now, I, now I gotta know what happens. Right. And the combat... God, I didn't even mention the combat. is great. You have uh, It looks like a kind of old-timey long rifle, but yeah. it's an automatic, like, kind of futuristic sci-fi rifle. And it has... Or it will eventually have... Uh, what do you call it? Affinities. Different colored affinities. Blue, red, and yellow. They shoot blue, red, and yellow ammunition. Mm -hmm. Ammunition is unlimited. You just have to let it recharge. And there are different colored enemies in the game. So if you have a blue enemy, you shoot it with blue stuff. Um, but there are also green enemies, purple enemies. So then you have, they're kind of hybrids. So you gotta switch up the ammo to fight them. That's interesting. The other neat thing is... Um, your robos have different colors and you can press Y and they'll do like a special attack to attack the enemies. Huh. Now the whole point of the combat is to get more experience but it's also to get their cores. Now if you kill an enemy just straight up blow them up you get experience and you get loot. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point and when the enemy loses so much health you'll see extract. At which point you can click on the right stick you're going to throw your grapple hook thing, and it grabs onto its core. And at that point, you play a tug-of-war type game. Did you ever play the old bass fishing games where it would be like, yeah. the line's too tense, and it'll break? Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> it'll be like, warning, beep, 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 and then it'll break. And then a lot of times, like, if you're fighting a boss, he'll heal to full health. Ah. Uh, yeah. And the bosses are epic. I don't even want to spoil anything about the bosses. They are incredible. Um... So you get the cores, or you get experience and loot. And then oh, the cores, yeah. you take back to your crawler, your main base, and you can upgrade your energy, your health, or your agility on your robots. Mm -hmm. So you can upgrade them that way, and then all the loot from that you're getting from throughout the world, you're also getting blueprints for different parts. So, like, I have... My, my Mac, my dog, he's got white wild child on right now. It's basically his armor set. Oh, okay. And it's a higher damage armor set. And uh, if you have the complete set, it does like an extra 20% damage. Mm hmm So, and, and I'm also working towards Seth, the spider. Once he gets to level 13, I can give him this cool red spider armor that also increases his damage. And I think uh, Duncan the Ape is going to be my tank. Uh, but yeah, and you're just going throughout the game, finding these blueprints, finding parts to upgrade these, 
or no, to build these parts and I can't explain enough how much I, I just love this game. I'm gonna beat it. I'm probably gonna beat it this weekend. Nice. Uh, at least I'm gonna finish the story and do most of the dungeons. Yeah, three day weekend. For Heck yeah. Guess. I don't know. I don't know if you have to work Monday or not, but no. Ah. Oh wait, Monday. No, yes I do. Why did I say no? I don't have to work today. Gotcha. Yeah, I do have to work Monday. Oh, it's Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah, my my work gives no fucks about holidays. Oh. Paid day off. Woo. Lucky. And I went home early today. Slubba lubba funny. ding dong, or whatever he says. What does he say? Slubba lubba dub dub. Slubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> so, Remember, we have a confession friends. to make. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, was that, that was not on this show, was it? Was What's that on a... No, I could have been on a few true heels. Oh, that was on a few true villains let's play. I can't remember which one. Were we talking about Rick and Morty? Were we talking about cartoons? Oh, and yeah. Rick and Morty. Shit, I can't remember which episode that was. Go back and watch them all. You'll find it eventually. Yeah. We talked hardcore shit about Rick and Morty. Did we? Because I didn't know anything about it. And usually if I don't know anything about it... I I'm talked like, hardcore oh, shit yeah. about Rick and Morty. I probably said I didn't watch it, and it, I know at the time, I don't think I was thinking about watching it. Now, I will stand by Adventure Time's garbage. Yeah, I've uh, watched that. I don't like it. It's dumb. The other one's garbage. All the other ones are garbage. Whoa. All what? the other ones. Have you what? seen regular show? Regular show's garbage. No. <laughs> No, no. Regular show is garbage. Regular show is amazing. It's children's show. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Regular show is great. Okay, agree to disagree. <laughs> There's another one that's like meatloaf or something. Uh, I don't know. It's stupid. The square, the the animation where the characters look like pop finals, I'm already over. Uh, oh, you mean just in general? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think those are mainly children's shows, too, though. Yeah, I watched one the other day at my, my, my dad's house. The kids were watching. It was like something falls. I can't remember what it was. Gravity Falls? Gravity Falls, yeah. Called? I haven't God, seen it. God, that's weird. I haven't seen it. It's bizarre. Like, there's a fucking temple. Like, it's the, the all-seeing eye. Uh -huh. On our dollar bill, but he's like the villain, and it's he's like in another, huh? It's the Illuminati. Yeah, but he has like a top hat. Okay, well, yeah, of course. And he's that like trying the, to take over the realm, and it's just, God, it's bizarre. Don't look it up. No, I'm just going to look at some images of it. It's bizarre, and I think his name is Bill. Yeah, there he is. All right, yeah, see, I already, I'm already not a fan of this. It's the weirdest goddamn yeah. thing. Okay. Um, I mean, if my kid wanted to watch it, I'd... Nope. I'd probably be okay with that, I guess. Did you see this? What? What are we looking at? What was that? A clickbait. That's what that is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is... And it's a Disney show, apparently? Yeah. Uh, I have my safe search off, so we should probably be careful. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a but, super yeah, it's, weird. It looks kind of weird. Should be on Adult Swim almost show. Right, that's kind of how regular show is. Like I feel like it's pretty weird. I don't like Could, these shows. Like I feel like when I have a kid, I'm not gonna let them. Like kid. I'm gonna download. I've said this before. I'm gonna. I'm gonna download Sesame Street and Barney and Little Einstein, and then I'm gonna download like Pokemon. And Digimon, and then I'm going to download, like, stuff that I watched when I was slightly old. I'm just going to recreate my childhood. That's what I've done, for the most part. Like, 90% of what my kid watches... Yeah, it's true. ...is Powerpuff Girls. You're just um, slacking on the video games. I let her play. Um, she really likes Donkey Kong. Um... Donkey Honk, as she calls it. Donkey Honk, yeah. And she really <laughs> likes... Uh, I have a original Nintendo Spider-Man game that she really likes playing. Um, but yeah, I don't have my FC Twin thing set up right now. I don't have any You're games slacking. set up right now. Slacking. 
Oh, I know something. Okay, no, we're going to finish talking about Rick and Morty. Okay. So, well, yeah, blub, we were... Blub, blub. <laughs> blub, whatever. I don't remember what the hell it is. I'll never remember. Um, we were wrong about Rick and Morty, or at least I was. Because I've watched all of the two episodes of season two. And it, it just keeps getting better. Yeah, I'm on episode nine of season one already. And we just figured out... The reason I didn't like it is I will stand by the first episode's not great. I thought I I just watched it, I thought it was good, but eh. I and I when I watched it again I was like, alright, whatever, I still don't like the show. Right. And then I watched another episode of that yeah, it's it gets better. Right. And then it gets to the episode that we just watched with the commercials or the infinite T V channels. Yeah, I think it was episode eight. Yeah, I think that's a neat one, which they're actually Planting a lot of things for future episodes. Right. Which now, now I appreciate that. Okay. I still feel like it's a weaker episode. It's yeah. also the worst episode to introduce people to it. Oh, it hands. Which like is how was, I was introduced to it. If that was the first episode I watched, I'd never watch it again. Yeah. It's like so weird. And there's like some overarching story stuff in it. Yeah. And it's just... Like, Morty talking about uh, how, you know, that's my body out there. Yeah. And I didn't know what the hell to think. I was like, this is weird. Yeah, it was definitely a weird episode. Definitely my least favorite so far. But, so and I've seen a couple from season two because... Right, yeah. that and that's last week in a nerd night, they had us watching it. And I'm glad they did. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, and, and actually the nice thing about it was, like, I got to that point in the season and I was like, I can skip these. <laughs> yeah. I literally just watched them. But this is a nice segue. Um, the reason we watched Rick and Morty was because they made me try video games. You, we did? Yeah. What do you mean? What, uh... Audio Surf, I think, was the Oh, game. right. That's and right. <laughs> I was playing it, and the first song they had me play was a Rick and Morty song. And, like, I played through it, and I, was, and I took the headphones off. I was like, this game's that pretty game, cool. That song is, like, fucking viral, by the way. Is it? Yeah. I'm sure. But I took the headphones off. I was like, the game's pretty cool, but what the fuck was I listening to? It's kind of, The song's not that great, in my opinion. Probably not. Like, I have to hear it again. It's good in the context of the show. Right. But I would never listen to that outside of the show. Well, yeah, never seen the show before. I'm like, what? Like, I knew it was Rick and Morty, because yeah. I know Wubba Wubba Dub Dub's Rick's thing or whatever. But I took the headphones off. I'm like, guys, what the fuck was that? Yeah, it's basically like, hey, sit down and listen to our inside joke. Right, yeah. I no. mean, the the game was the game was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, Great game. Probably not one I'd go back and play. No, I thought you liked that one. It was okay. I but the other game they had me play was incredible. And I loved it. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, what was that? Uh, the one that was like asteroids. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know where my. If I go is. on my YouTube, it should pop up because I've been listening to music from it. Oh really? Yeah. I have it. It's like beat something. Uh. Beat Hazard. Beat Hazard. I was about to say that. Sure you were. <laughs> I was going to say Hazard something. Beat. Yeah, beat that, that's a great game. I just also saw, if you like these rhythm games, I have one called Kick Beat, Kick which beat. is a fighting game, rhythm game. Oh, uh, like Parappa the Rapper. Was that a, that wasn't a fighting game, was it? No, not necessarily. It was just I random just, shit every other I just remember before. the punch, kick. Oh. Yes. Thanks. Punch, kick, it's all of them. No. Something like, I don't remember how it goes. That, that was forever and a half ago. That's why you need a PlayStation. So we can play Parappa the Rap. <laughs> they they re-released it. Did they? <laughs> they re-re-re-re-released it. Oh, probably. No, yeah, they, I think, I'm pretty sure they did. But, uh... Well, that, that threw us off, Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. So, yeah, you like the, those beat games. Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, the... Beat Hazard thing was just awesome, and I really enjoyed the music that was in it. There's also uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which oh. is like a dungeon diving rhythm game. All right. I've thought about right. getting because it looks interesting, and you can also play it with a DDR dance pad. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be really good. So, Thriller? Yeah, right? That's, that's... What was I just. Oh, we were watching True Blood. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's like a bunch of zombies or something came out and we were like, Thriller? God, that show is still weird. Yeah. Like, that's an, go listen to last week's episode. We're not going to talk about that again. <laughs> um, so we were wrong about Rick and Morty. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> to all one of you who are offended. And I always, and now I'm like, oh, I want to be Rick for Halloween. And I'm like, oh, I'd have to shave. I'm not doing that. Ah. That's See, the problem with my Halloween ideas. Like, I guess oh. that that's you. Like, I would never go, I would never do that. I love dressing up. I love Halloween. Yeah. I'll dress so, up as Jerry. I want to I wanna dress <laughs> <laughs> Just wear a shirt. I, I love dressing up. Like, I've, how, I'm excited for Halloween. So, I've thought of, like, Lazy Gundam as a costume. Okay. Where, like, I do, like, a pretty cool, like, Gundam helmet and just kind of wear, get, like, a Gundam costume hoodie. Right. And, like, some white sweatpants. But, I don't know. Or, I've always wanted to do Hellboy. Yeah. And now I have the right hand of doom that I found at a friggin' thrift store for two bucks. But, I don't know. I really, I'm just excited for Halloween. Hey, keep talking. I'm writing notes about the show. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. That That's one thing me and you are definitely different on, because I give no fucks about Halloween. Halloween's the best. You can dress up anytime you want, though. And I do. Yeah, that's right. You, you do. <laughs> I do. I shouldn't encourage you. <laughs> uh, I just saw that somebody on my Facebook page got a um, replica proton pack through Spirit. Okay. And I saw how much it was. It's like, it was like 60 or $70. I want it so bad. I might go get it this weekend. Uh, <laughs> because Show I, me what you got. <laughs> I have, I have a Ghostbusters costume. I just have to put everything together. I never finished it, and I was building a proton pack. And there's video of it somewhere where it's like forty percent finished, but I have lights in it and everything. But I scrapped it in one of my moves. I'm so mad because it was pretty legit for what I'd made it out of. I'm just a void of anti craftiness. <laughs> but you build Gundam models. Yeah, that's easy. They, 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 everything's handed to me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I don't have to do it. I have not built my models I bought recently because I've been bu- building other things to go along with them. Oh. Okay. I built the hangar. I built the catwalk, which if it's not up on our website, that's, it should that's be. That's got to go up on the website. Uh, yeah. I made that little tiny paint rack over there to go with my, uh, I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, yet. I did. That's pretty cool. To go with my sprue separator organizer. Oh, my new... Uh, what I told my fiancé my new hobby is. I'm really getting into organization. I, I believe, love organization. I believe this is my best hobby I've been into. Because I, I went to the store the other day. I just started buying... I, I made the conscious decision to start buying um, containers. We don't have a container store, sadly. No. I would love if we had one. But I'm going to start buying different containers and drawer sets. You should see my desk. Because I have, like, a little plastic crate for bigger stuff. I have a tiny little two-drawer thing. I have other crates on my other shelves. All my stuff's organized. None of mine is. You know who does like organization? Who? The other person I live with. We're going to... Skip over that. <laughs> does or does not like Does it. not. Oh, does not like it. And has shitloads of <laughs> crafty things. And that's when you need to get organized. Yeah. And that's what I'm realizing. Have you ever... You probably haven't. Have you ever seen um, Dice Tower's video about his, all the stuff he has? No. We're going to have to watch that. Yes, 100%. Because... Good lord, does that dude have a lot of miniatures. <laughs> what I've been watching, though, is I've been watching people's videos on their, um, like, their desks and their paint stations. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have a lot you of You should show, the, show those to Wes. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen that desk in a good spot once before. Yeah. It used to be in his room. But it's, it's, a, it's gone Well, away, now, so. maybe with you guys kind of collaborating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, why isn't... What? What, is it Wes here? Yeah, he's at work. Yeah, he's at work. He probably... 
Yeah. We might be able to get him tomorrow. Oh, he's about to get off work. I don't know if I have his number. I have him on Steam. I don't know where my phone is. That's why you keep hearing me <laughs> inside of my shoulder. Stop shorts. hitting things! <clears throat> Jeez. Oh, there it is. It's in my other pocket. Uh, he is not online. No, he should be at work, but I think he gets off at 4. Yeah, he should get off soonish. I am going to attempt to text him, because I think... I think I never have his number, but it's always been... I think it's always been in my phone for I forever. I have him on Steam. I can always go on the Minecraft server. <laughs> oh, there's something I can talk about. Minecraft. So, last weekend, Wes got me onto his Minecraft server. Um, it's the Dire Wolf 20 mod. And uh, I haven't done shit with the mods. <laughs> I literally... This, this is my problem with Minecraft. And it's the problem why you don't like it. That Whenever you work. <laughs> I start Minecraft. It's like, all right, cut down some trees. I got a little house. But you know what? If someone comes by here, I just have a tiny house. I need to chop down more trees. <laughs> and then I build a bigger house. And then I say, oh, but if somebody comes in here, they're not going to be able to find anything. Let me build 20 chests and organize them. And then I do that. And then I say, okay... I can't even organize my real house. <laughs> and then I say, okay, but if someone comes here, I don't want them to find my good shit. I need to make a hidden basement. <laughs> and then I make a hidden basement. But then it's like, oh, but I want to have a basement. So then I build an actual basement and a hidden basement off to the side. <laughs> and now it's been three days. <laughs> <laughs> See what I, I did. I don't know where time went. What I did was I cleared out this little space in like this little jungle area. I built a two-story house. And I built a little walkway that went down into this cave I built. Yeah. And the cave went down and I had an underground pool. And I was like, this is cool. And they were like, you should build some uh, like farm stuff. So I built like this little reed patch that went out to the water. And then... I had a little, like, garden thing, and then I tried to catch one of the squids, and I tried catch? to... Yeah. Okay. I went underwater, and I built up, and I built up, okay. and I waited for one to swim in there, and I'd build up around it so it couldn't leave, and it didn't happen, as I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> it probably despawned. And then, yeah, and that probably would happen, too. And then uh, I was looking at my house, it's surrounded by this lush jungle, and I've got this underground pool... And then I started to hate my in-game character, and I was envious of him, and I quit. Because <laughs> I was like, I want to go swimming. Yeah. Fuck this guy on the game who's got a pool. I, I want a pool. <laughs> so I did in my basement, and man, I gotta. I wish I'd take a screenshots. One thing I do love about this mod pack we're playing, there is an item called the chisel. And you take items, you put it in the chisel, and it gives you a shitload of different options. Mm -hmm. of how you want it to look. So I've chiseled a bunch of marble and a bunch of cobblestone. And, like, my ceilings have the Celtic cobblestones, and it's, like, that kind of woven together yeah. pattern. And that's what, like, yeah. my ceilings are. And, like, parts of my wall and then surrounding that are, like, embossed pieces. Oh, that's cool. And it looks incredible. Yeah, I didn't know you knew all that. The Oh, my God, dude. Mod packs are incredible. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I'm, well, I was playing it when it first came out. The yeah. other thing that uh, I have in the mod pack that I haven't done because I need lava is I made a um, Tinker's Forge. Tinker's, Tinker's Forge? Tinker's Smeltery. And that is, uh, you have to go out and you have to find um, gravel, sand, clay, combine that, and then you bake it down, excuse me, into a brick. And, uh... Then you take four bricks and make it into a block. You take those blocks and you actually build up a smeltery, like a big physical thing that would hold metal metal liquids. And then you put in a controller, where is where you'd put the metal in. And mm -hmm. you put in a tank where you would keep the lava to keep the smeltery hot. And it actually becomes a giant block. And then you can put your metal in there and it'll melt it down and it's more efficient. That way you actually get more metal out of it. And you can combine metals and alloys. And then you could actually take uh, plates, metal plates, and pour a little bit of the liquid metal into it. And then you can get like hammer heads and axe heads and sword heads. And then you build a hilt. And then you build uh, like a handle. 
and you combine all the pieces and you get a more powerful version of whatever you're building. Like you can get a hammer that instead of you know a pickaxe you just break one block at a time it breaks a three by three block. So you break nine pieces in front of you. Oh that's kind of cool. Yeah it makes mining way fucking faster. And it's just and that's like just the beginning of it. There's also another that's a smeltery and there's an also a furnace I think which I'm not sure what that is. And that you actually have to build like like my smeltery is like built in the wall. Right. So you can't really look above it. That's also because you can also jump into it and dump blood into it. It uh -huh. can just mess everything up. So I like to cat mine off. Oh yeah. And then you can actually just keep building on it and it'll hold more and more stuff. So eventually mine will go to my ceiling. But for now I don't need that much. Um, the other one I don't know what it is, but you have to actually cap it off and it like builds pressure inside of it. And um so that's really the only mods I've messed with is the tinker stuff and the chisel. But I know there's like tons of flowers. There's magic stuff. I was just watching Achievement Hunter last night. Uh, they're playing Sky Factory, which I would fucking love to play. Starts off with a block of dirt and a tree. That's it. Nothing around you. Huh. And you have to break. You have to cut down that tree. You know, build a little wooden platform. Build a um. Oh, uh, what do you call those? Uh. Cobblestone generator, so it's like lava and wood, and they meet and build a piece of cobblestone. You break it, they meet again, cobblestone, meet again, cobblestone. You build the world. Huh. It's incredible. But I was watching them last night, and they were messing with some kind of mod. Sounds time-consuming. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's any game. Yeah. Um, so they had a mod you would love because you love Harry Potter, and they were making magic stuff. So one neat thing about the mods is they usually add graphical, just better things. So like this mod, he had a runic altar, and he was putting items on it, and there were like these little snake kind of things chasing each other on the altar. Hmm. And then when you put an item on it, it spins around the altar. And then when you put enough, you put the correct things on it, and you have mana channeling to it, which is like a whole other thing. Like you gotta channel mana and then get it to your different items. Oh, it like geez. lightning strikes and it like creates a new item. It's incredible. It is so freaking cool. I might get into that in our mod pack because I think it's in there. Blood magic is, which is a whole other <laughs> fucked up thing. Yeah, my modded Minecraft is not what you think it is. It is absolutely incredible. It's still a lot of work. It's still a lot of work, but it's fun. I'll stick with uh, Beat Hazard right now. Yeah? Which I got on my phone, and it's just not the same, and it's not yeah. really as fun. Uh, so what else? Oh, yeah. So today is for Force Friday. And um, I missed it, because I went to bed at 8.30 last night. When did it start? Last night at midnight. Ugh. Or this morning at midnight. All right, Kim. Um, Kim likes doing that. What's up? It's yesterday already, or today already. It's like, all right, enough of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was a bad Star Wars fan, and I ended up going to bed early. Uh, but, you know, I don't think there's anything I necessarily needed right away. There's uh, definitely nothing you need. Well, there is a need. What? Black series figures I need. Um, there are some other Heavy quotations around that word need. Yeah, see, you and my fiance say the same thing. <laughs> so what do they got? Kylo Ren? Okay, so they've got Last Jedi stuff? Yes. Um, the, the Black Series... And these I was okay... I'm actually okay with not getting. Although the Kylo Ren was pretty badass... Because it's, uh, they don't show them in this picture we're looking at right now. Yeah. But they come with bases. That article, at the top left, open that in a new tab, because we're going to talk about that. Uh, this one? Yep. Okay. Go ahead, sorry. Um, like, I don't know what Ray's base is. It looks kind of cool. Uh, Luke's base is just, like, rock. And some grass. Okay. It wasn't very impressive. It's where we left 
on a... Sure. Hers is probably similar then. Uh, no, it looks... I don't know what it is, but it's it's not that. Not yet you don't. Yeah. Oh my god, it's getting close to December. I know. Holy crap. I'm excited. Oh. But Kylo Ren's was like uh, like a real like imperial looking... Well, side note here. Uh, Battlefront 2 trailer came out. For like space battles, mm-hmm. and there's like a very very quick shot of Kylo Ren's ship. Oh, nice! Thought that was super cool. Very cool. So these would have been cool. Um, but that's okay. Um, I have you know like three rays already and like eighteen Kylo Rens. Uh, I do still need a Luke. You know, an old old man Luke. But I'll get my hands on it one eventually. Then these came out. But do you have Cool Hand Luke? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Is that it's, actually a person I've never seen? It's the know. one, it's his hand that got cut off. That's, oh. that's the cooler one. Because <laughs> there's, there's no work, there's no blood. Right, it's just a, it's just a hand. Alright, let's get, keep going. That's a bad Hera. joke. <laughs> Is that? Hera. In Black Series. And Thrawn? And Thrawn. Oh! Yeah. So those two would have been pretty awesome to get as well. There is a Sabine Black Series figure, isn't there? Yes. Man. And I do not have it. So I need Sabine and I think I need that. I have (laughs) Kanan and Ahsoka. You have who? I have Kanan and Ahsoka. Ahsoka would be nice. Yeah. I also have all these figures in Disney Infinity. Yeah. No, I don't have Hera. Yes, I do. Because I have the metal ghost ship. That counts as Hera. I didn't know Toys R Us it got a two pack exclusive with Admiral Akbar and a first order officer. Could not care less. But it's a trap. <laughs> exactly, it is a trap. It gets you to go to fucking Toys R Us. I need that. That's a need. The Admiral Akbar. No, it's not. What is that thing in the top right? Um, what is that? That is a Gundam weapon. Yeah, it is. I don't know what that is. We will find out that in the new movie. That is crazy looking. Uh, I like the bottom right. That thing's pretty neat looking. Uh, it looks like a... That's a B-Wing. It looks like a speeder version of a B-Wing. Yeah. Uh, Alright. And for those who can't see the pictures, the top right, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, it looks like somebody took two... Um, what are those tools? Like Staples? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like C clamps, and then put stuck a, a pelican in between them. <laughs> put a, a Gundam <laughs> chest plate in the middle. That too, yes. And then put a real confused pilot next to it. Yeah. Was that Kylo? What? Did, oh, that's those things that Han Solo was transporting. Oh yeah. That did not need to be a figure. Oh yes, it did. The. Uh, oh my god! I can't believe I can't. What are they called? What? Okay, you're going past I'm going the hell those ships are though. Um, oh, a TIE uh, Silencer? No, no that's the not. one I left. Okay. Um, yeah, that's Kylo Ren's ship. Can't a blight police officer gets his own police speeder. Okay. Uh, there's an A-Wing that came out, which is pretty cool. You never have have too many A-Wings. Lower left, put down our pile so it's lower right. Resistance A wing comes with the, the, the top left. Top right. Okay, so that's a police speeder. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks very police like. Sure, it looks freaking bizarre. Alright. Oh, right, and the thing at the bottom right is from the trailer. Okay. Those busted up looking ships that are like dragging on the ground. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's, and then uh, the Wrath Tar. I wish that was a Black Series scale Wrath Tar, which would be gigantic, but... Yeah. That's, I like the probe droid. That's cool. I have one of the Power of the Force probe droids. That's that's good enough for me. But the Land Speeder, this one are... this These two are the Black Series scale. It's Rey and her speeder, and you, or you can get Luke and his speeder. Like, I like Rey's better. I don't... I just want... I think the original land speeder would be just awesome. Yeah. To have. And in Black Series scale. I wish they had, like, a cheaper version without the figure, because I already have that Luke figure. 
It's a different head sculpt, but the head sculpt's kind of crap from what I've seen. Um, oh, hell. And I do not know what this is. Force Link wristband. I've seen some figures with the Force Link thing on the cover. Um, it's a gimmick. Oh, it's like the um, Jedi activated, Communicators, yeah. I guess. It's activated by RFID chip secretly planted inside each figure. It's not a secret anymore. Aha, we can find cover the secret. Oh, so you pick up the figure and it starts playing music. That's pretty cool. Is it the 90s? Yes. What the hell? Yeah. That's something that would come out in the 90s. And it did. But now it's back. Because the 90s are great. Sure. Oh, is it the 90s? What is it's this? It's a play set. Play it's sets are amazing. What the hell? Look how big that that is, too, because that's the wrist thing below it. The wrist thing is, like, a 20th the size of this BB-8. It opens up to be a playset. I used to have it's Death a, Star. The Death Star one that would open up. That's awesome. I never that's had that. Amazing. $200 for this BB-8 that opens up oh, and the Lord. Force Link wristband. Uh, it says it's humongous. I wonder if there's a size to it. So well, this one does what my Death Star did. Because my Death Star opened up and it was like Tatooine. Right. BB-8 opens up and it's like an Imperial thing. Yeah. It's like the opposite of what you'd expect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Is it? I yeah. would rather it be a Oh, player. and it comes with a Supreme Leader Snoke and the Elite Praetorian Guard. So that which, must mean that we're going to get to see him in physical form in the next movie. Yeah, because there's a... GameStop exclusive Snoke in his throne yeah. and it's not a hologram. Huh. And the throne's much bigger than the hologram. Shows. And this just goes with my theory that Snoke is Snoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I That's what I deep down truly believe. Yeah. But I want to say that it's Mace Windu. Ah, Christ. <laughs> I want to say that, but yeah, deep down, truly inside. We're going to have a podcast very soon with Dog Neo about all this stuff because he is like he's pretty much I say on our level of Star Wars knowledge if not more so the expanded universe Lego that's uh, what I'm talking about I hate Lego I boycott Lego Lego is too damn it, expensive yeah if it was way cheaper I would have so many Legos oh yeah I love Lego but I hate Lego for being ridiculously expensive yeah, it's like they were even on clearance at Walmart. They had like Poe Dameron's X Wing. Yeah, and I still wouldn't buy it. On clearance for thirty bucks. Yeah. I was like, no, still no. When like one minifigure is like five bucks. Yeah, I'm how much is that guy? BB eight? Hundred dollars. Oh yeah, but that's gotta be yeah, one thousand one hundred six pieces, okay. The head rotates. It can be controlled using It's just got a little thing you can twist and turn its head? For $100? It must be massive. There's that 7,000 piece William Falcon. Yeah. I would never, ever, ever, ever build that. $800. Fuck you, Lego. People are going to buy it, though. They are. People are going to build it, and then hopefully someone's going to do a slow-mo video of them dropping it. Like, and did you ever see the slow-mo video of the Star Destroyer? No. Oh, it's so cool. Someone tried a oh slow-mo video of the Lego Star Destroyer being dropped, and it just... Oh, it's so cool. That's just depressing. Um, These look neat. Disney Elite figures? They're like the Marvel Selects of the action figure universe. Okay. They're like... They're 7-inch, but they're also die-cast, which is kind of cool. So they're super friggin' heavy. I feel like the guy in the bottom right got his weapon broken. And no one told him. <laughs> yeah, what is that looks like a That's one of the Death Troopers or whatever. That's a first order executioner stormtrooper. Okay. I believe. So that's probably like an executioner axe he has, I guess. Is that an axe? But it looks like uh, It looks like someone's pulling a prank on him. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you think about the Praetorian Guard, the red guy? He looks cool. I'm not a fan. 
there's too much red and it's not broken up. You can't see sure. detail in them. Yeah. Like, it's just, all that red just washes it out and just a bunch of red plates and red flowy things. Hopefully on screen he looks much cooler. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Sith, so I'm all about red. All I mean, red everything. I mean, I like red too, but I don't know. That's just a lot. And hopefully it's just the action figure. Hopefully the yeah. actual... Hopefully we see that in the movie. The next section is figure arts. They make oh, incredible no. stuff. They do. It's way too expensive. That That's why I, I skipped over the hot toys section. <laughs> oh, did you? you yeah. Didn't realize. Oh, look at those. Arts. Oh, man. All right, so uh, figure arts, they have a Ray and a BB-8. Looks yeah. amazing. Then that Kylo Ren kneeling with the two Praetorian guards behind him. Pretty awesome. Doesn't one Praetorian guard have a lightsaber? Uh, I think I think it's a sword. It's hard okay. to tell. Vibra blade, could be, could be. Let's let's zoom in on that. Oh yeah, that worked. Yeah, <laughs> same size picture. Thanks guys. Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, it's have... probably a vibra blade. Yeah. All right, so, and then there's a phasma too, which is pretty cool. That just shows she survives, which is cool. Yeah. Well, I we, think we knew that. Y- yeah. Who is she from Game of Thrones? Brienne of Tarth. Okay, who I've only seen. The chick is like eight feet tall and badass oh. as hell. Huh. Yeah, she's legit like seven foot something or something Damn. like that. Uh, yeah, these all it looks like these all retail between fifty and sixty dollars as figure arts usually do. Which isn't bad because have you seen them like in person? Oh yeah. Wow. I have knockoff ones because I can't <laughs> afford the real. Ones. I have knockoff Dragon Ball Z ones. At um, Ocala Comic Con, figure arts was not. No, it could have been them. I don't think it was, they were there. So it's like a vendor was there. Yeah. And they had a bunch of figure arts stuff in it. Wow! You could get figure arts at um, Barnes & Nobles. Really? You can, They have Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon, usually. And Barnes & Noble is so weird. It is. It's so cool. <laughs> and Toys R Us, you can get them now, too. Huh. I've seen Naruto. I've seen um, WWE. They have the rock and stone cold. Yeah. They come with like eight heads a piece or something to get different expressions. Have you ever They're seen, I cool. think it's the Star Wars stuff as if they were Final Fantasy characters? I don't think so. Oh, wow. And like Batman as if he was a, a Final Fantasy character? I don't think I have just because I'm not that into, you know, Final Fantasy. It doesn't games. matter. It's just it's that so cool style. Looking. Yeah, it's amazing. Because I, look oh, God, I haven't played Final Fantasy since 10 I played and I seven. didn't finish it <laughs> like I like Final Fantasy it just take too much time right but yeah you, I don't think you have to it's not it's not a Final Fantasy it's not Final Fantasy I shouldn't have said that it's the people that like design the stuff for Final Fantasy it's their take on like Batman oh, okay. I think I could have swore Star Wars did it too probably um, and then it looks like there's a 12 inch Kylo Ren that came out as well uh, interactive with lights and sounds. I'm looking forward to caring about Kylo Ren. <laughs> I, what? Okay. That's a really bad face sculpt. It is. But this one's more for children. Yeah, that's true. Um, I would put that helmet on him, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's I'm, just kind of a garbage character. I don't know. I like him. Have you seen the thing about... Han Solo's the one that activated the lightsaber? I believe that 10,000%. Han is the one who turned that lightsaber on. That is such a, like, God, what a good, good plot thing. Yeah, a thousand plot percent. Device. I know. I know. Like, deep down, I know Snoke is just Snoke. I know for sure Han is the one who turned that lightsaber on. Yeah. Man, that that blew my mind. Yep. I love that. I thought it as soon as I saw it, too. I was yeah. like, did Han turn that on? Did Han turn that on? Han's dead? Yeah, yeah that was the other thing. Spoiler. <laughs> it's been long enough. Uh, and then Pops and Plushies, I'm not a fan of. I like plushy things. I like, see, that's the thing I do collect is Pop Vinyls. I do not. I have some, but I don't want them. And whatever this thing is, this thing's been everywhere. Yeah. There's like a plushie of them. 
The thing that looks like a penguin chicken. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe <laughs> it. What yeah. do they call it? It's probably written in here. Oh, guys, skip the next section. You oh, already have one. No, but I, I need more. Um, Sphero robots. Yep. I have the Sphero BB-8, and it's amazing. I, w- I wish I could... Well, with the big, this bigger house, I can use it more. Yeah, you don't... I just realized I could. <laughs> but now I need the BB-9E. No. Yeah, I do. Good lord. And we want to erase them? You're yes. Right. Do, yes, you're right. We do need them. Yeah. And you need to pay for it. <laughs> and he looks pretty cool. He's got like the almost like a R R five D four head almost, but a little yeah. shorter, like half the size. It's almost like Kylo Ren saw BB eight and was like, "Fuck you, I need one of those." Yeah. <laughs> Bring me the droid. Like, what, we what, can't what? catch him. Make me the droid. <laughs> yeah. What a petty asshole. <laughs> yeah. Make me uh, one. Oh, poor tipper tantrum. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Kylo Ren did yeah. throw a tipper tantrum and he got one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, the chicken, the penguin chickens are called porgs, I guess. No, they're called penguin chickens. <clears throat> so, yeah, the BB-9E, which, uh, they couldn't come up with a, yeah. that's your name? But okay. Um, I want to know whose droid that's going to be. Kylo's. <laughs> Tell me. Um, He's oh, mad. That, one, that one's got a cool LED in the head. Uh, the the BB-8 does not have that. Okay. Um, porgs. Good glorious Lord. Porgs. I told you. These are a thing now. Penguin chickens. Penguin chickens. Penguin chickens. Um, I mean, they're cute. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. great. These are the new Ewoks. Yeah, they are. Well, they're better than Ewoks. You can get a... <laughs> Is that a uh, backpack? I don't know if that's... No, I... I think it's a pillow, because I think it's a pillow and a blanket. A pork pillow oh. and a blanket. Okay. Why is Chewbacca, like, chilling out with them? <coughs> I feel like Chewbacca should be eating them. Chewbacca would eat them. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's like some art with Chewbacca just surrounded by porgs. Uh, role play toys, these are always fun to see. Uh, I've always wanted to get... What, some of the cool looking blasters and repaint them. Yeah, like I really like stick. that rifle in the middle. That's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know who that. Probably a stormtrooper blaster. Um. Yeah, like Poe Dameron's blaster. I've always wanted to like get something like that and give it a repaint. That was Phasma's blaster. Oh, nice. Um. Now. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Poe's helmet. I thought this came out already, but it's it's so cool. Eighty dollars for the uh, Poe Dameron electronic helmet. Yeah. But man, would that be? It's, it looks. I mean, it's not a hundred percent screen accurate, but damn, that's that's as, that for eighty bucks. You See, know. See, you can't own that though, because then you put it next to your homemade ones, and it's like it's gonna be very noticeable. <laughs> My uh, like. Kylo Ren helmet's not homemade. Oh, that's true. But is that a cheaper helmet? Yeah, it is a cheaper helmet. Like a, like a kid's helmet. Uh, this is like a legit. It's still like $40 or $50. Yeah. But yeah, this one's pretty legit. Um, and then Jack, Jack Specific. It's just like every toy company making these things. Oh, these are the gigantic ones with like five points of articulation or maybe even <laughs> four. Uh, I got a Darth Vader for my kid. And she liked it. Really? But, Where yeah. is it? It's, it got in washed away with the rest of the toys. It's in there oh. somewhere. She used to play with it a lot, but now, you know. I don't I've never seen that. Yep, it's around. Hot Wheels. I Hot. mean, I'm okay with this because I'm probably going to get some of those metal ones. That very first one looks like the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Yeah, it does. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but that is the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Uh, yeah. I... I like the one. I I mean, I enjoy seeing the character themed cars. See, I think they're dumb. I've I'm never, never have them. Yeah, I'd never buy them. But I enjoy looking at them. I think they're neat. I'm like just glad that this stuff exists because I got my Phantom. Right. Because we were talking about, uh, I want to buy a Phantom. I just want a little miniature to put on my desk because that that I love Rebels. Right. 
And I was talking about, I don't want to buy an X-Wing. And you were telling me, oh, well, Hot Wheels and Micro Machines has them. We went to yeah. Walmart and sure shit, I got the last one. Yep, the Hot Wheels. I liked the, the Hot, Hot Wheels. Wheels and are, Micro Machine. These are Hot Wheels. Okay. Micro Machine did make them, but they're not nearly as cool. Yeah. Also, yeah, the Hot Wheels ones, the base you can put on your finger and fly it around. You sure can. <laughs> and I have. <laughs> I have too. Because uh, I have a couple of them. And yet there are Black Series of little metal, huh. like, die-cast ships yeah. as well. I love die-cast stuff. Yeah. And that's why I'm thinking of selling my X-Wing game stuff. Because mm. I just want, I bought it for the ships. I just wanted to play yeah. it because it had ships in it. So I just can get the I can get the hot hot wheels once and just I'm getting be to fine. that point, but I feel like if I sold them I'd regret it. Me too, that's why I haven't done it yet. But I'm still that thinking about it. It's also a great game. It is a good game, but I feel like if I sold it and bought another game, I think I'd be happier. Maybe. I'm I mean, never that. getting rid of my uh outrider. Yeah. I can say that for sure. So I thought about selling everything but the slave one, because I love the yeah. slave one. But I was like, ah, I'll just sell it all and get a new game. See, I would keep the Slave 1. I thought about it, but I have Slave 1s. Oh, um, see, I don't. That's why I would keep it. I have, like, that, uh... Also, Slave 1. You can find them all day. Yeah. Outright or no. Right. Uh, what else was there? Um... What the hell was Little that? Hot Wheels playset. Oh. With a Millennium Falcon and something. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Spin Master, Star Wars Hero BB-8, um, what is that? Is it just a giant Sphero? I don't think it's... Also, it looks like it's bigger than the movie version. No, I don't think it's... It's oh. 16 inches tall. $230. Um... I hope this is not the one that has the wheels on the bottom, because I think that's pretty lame. Um, An impressive top speed. Who wants that? I don't know. A 16-inch BB-8 rolling around the house, top speed, just to crash into your bookshelf? It would just break. It's yeah. not like in the movie where you bump into <laughs> stuff. Uh, and it will uh, follow you around, whoever's holding the controller. So, hey. Yeah, 230 bucks. So it doesn't follow you around, it follows a controller around. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm a cynical asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, droid Adventure Kit. Um, See, this is something that, like, if I had a kid, that's what I would buy. Uh, $100. Um, uses six electronic components. A collection of 20 different droid parts. You can cobble together a droid companion that, uh, oh, basically it's an R2 unit. Yeah. It's like a build-your-own R2 unit. And there's a smartphone app and a bunch of activities and stuff. Cool. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and that looks like that's about it for the stuff that came out for Forest Friday. Um, uh, like I said, I missed it all, though. I didn't get anything. Because I had to work... This morning, and I went to bed at 8 o'clock last night. It didn't look like you missed anything drastic, though. Yeah, I think I'll be able to get any of this I need to get. Uh, but I did wake up to my Facebook just full of empty shelves at Target and Toys R Us. Damn. Because people just go, people go crazy. Huh. It's Star Wars. It's the wars, man. Which is a quote from one of my favorite movies of all time. Fanboys. I need to watch that movie again. Yeah. Because it's been a long-ass time since I watched that movie. Speaking of movies, we got to talk about this garbage. Uh, I do not know what's going on here. Okay, so you're, you're ignorant to this. You know nothing about these Joker movies. No. So, apparently, there's two movies in the works right now. Okay. There is a Joker movie featuring Jared Leto and Margot Ruby of okay. Suicide Squad. Um, that's all right. That'll be interesting. There, I'm okay with that. We don't necessarily need it. I feel like we don't need a Joker movie. That's like when people say, I want a Darth Vader origin movie. Uh, then we got three. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's, yeah. 
Okay, I mean, a Joker origin movie, I don't hate the idea of. Well, that's not, that's not what, I don't think that's what the Jared Leto, Margot Robbie movie is going to be. Right, probably not. That's just going to be their own adventure. Which I don't hate, but like, it's so unnecessary. I feel like there's, Joker needs to be mysterious. Right. Like, that's, God, that's the whole lore of him. And the other one, that's gonna be bonkers bad what's a dc and, movie anyway? hold on wonder the new joker and the new banner of elseworlds okay if that's a thing if this starts that off to another when we get elseworlds movies that's fantastic but apparently this movie oh my god leonardo DiCaprio's gonna play <sighs> this movie's gonna take place in the 80s and it's gonna be the joker origin story Okay. Now, I feel like we already got a fantastic Joker origin story, and it's called Gotham. Because the kid in Gotham is not the Joker, I know, supposedly, but wow, is he good. Yeah. Love that character, and I haven't even seen most of it. I do want to say, though, is they make everyone seem like they could be the Joker. Like, everyone seems to do the Joker laugh. Even people you know that are not. Yeah. Like, what Nygma. What's that kid's name, though? The, uh, the one that's, like, pretty much a Joker. Jeremy? Yeah, that sounds right. Let's just see. Joker. Gotham. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, what is Jerome. The, Jerome. I was close. Um, so Elseworld, like, just whatever, just bizarre shit, like Gaslight ba- Batman? Yeah, so different, like, dimensions. Wubba yeah. wubba dub dub! Oh, oh my god. So basically, <laughs> DC's gone the way of Rick and Morty. Sure. <laughs> that brings us full circle. I mean, if DC's like, listen, here's, here's our cinematic universe, and then we're gonna do... One-off Elseworlds movies. That is ideal. That would be cool, but that means the shows are Elseworld too. Because they Gotham? Was, yeah. Definitely. And Gotham has nothing to do with the cinematic universe. And it, and it needs to stay that way. Gotham, yes, but like The Flash and Arrow should yeah, not be. They should have been integrated in the movies. Right. But we know that they're not. Arrow still might be. No. No? No, because the Flash and Arrow are definitely one universe. Well, yeah, but I'm saying they still could be fucking DC and use Steve Amell for Green Arrow. Flashpoint Paradox. Combine all of it. (laughs) One swoop, they could combine all of it. DC and their their ways of coming up with the easy way out. Yeah, oh yeah, they are fantastic at it. How do we fix continuity? We fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Continuity is not even a word. Yeah, re- that's basically it. Oh, man. So, yeah, I, I, I'm I so torn because I don't want these movies to happen. Right. But I also really like that Jared Leto Joker. And I like Margot Ruby. But, I don't know, we'll see. Right. So... This has been an episode of the Future Villains Podcast. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, you can find our all of our content at futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. Uh, Twitter at Brian25, Instagram, Brian on 38 And you can find me on YouTube at Best in the Realm, on Twitch, everything. Thanks for listening, guys.